Hello, I just wanted to show you guys my setup for um, running my Starlink Mini. If you don't have one of these, I have a regular Starlink, but I was offered the Mini um, along with a million other people, um, which allows you to move around. It's smaller, um, and in this, the case of this one, it's powered by anywhere from 12 to 48 volts, so you can run it off your car, solar, or a some kind of USB uh, real easy. So what I decided to do, because the cord that came with it, it comes with a power adapter, which looks like this and plugs into, into 110. And then it has a, a cord that comes with it that is about 50 feet long. Um, I decided that I wanted to have something a little shorter and there wasn't, I couldn't find anything at the time. I knew it wouldn't be very long, but I kind of like doing stuff myself anyway. So that's what the jack looks like on both ends of the, both ends of the cable. Um, and rather than cut this cable and shorten it up or adapt it, I just figured out what cables they were. And um, I ordered some of those. You can see the cables very similar. It lacks the weather, the weather uh, proofing um, seals that, that the uh, Starlink one has. And then, I, and then I bought some of these adapters that allow you to hook up to your DeWalt battery and get 20 volts. Um, the system runs uh, anywhere between, you can see right there, it's printed on there. It says anywhere from 12 to 48 volts, a DC of five amps or 60 watts. And, um, and then it has actually your polarity there and a little bit of description about the, uh, about the jack. So I, uh, Put those together one of these cables right here uh, you can see it has a positive and a negative um, and then the, the jack here's the part number for for that rascal I got it off uh, off the Amazon and then there was two in that package and then two each this is actually considered a power wheels adapter of some kind I don't know if it's focusing or not because I can't see it um, so that's the that's the setup, and now I can use this, have this cord if I need it. Um, I have this little short cord and nothing else to plug in. And I, whenever I go in the backcountry, I always take a extra uh, four or five batteries, impact, and a drill um, with me. So I'm always going to have batteries. I can charge them either off the inverter in the Jeep, or I can um, use the solar panel to charge them. So I'm always going to have power. And for the limited amount of time I'm going to be spending on the internet, um, I think it'll be just fine. Honestly, I, I don't think I'll be on the internet. I think what I would do is use it for some satellite communication in the event of an emergency or uh, convenience. Um, I don't see myself out there watching, watching YouTube videos while I'm in the woods. Um, but anyway, that's what I did. I'll try to attach these uh, part numbers uh, from Amazon or Amazon links in the description if I can if I can do that um, but if not again there's the uh, there's the number for the cables and here's the number for the adapters wire them together I just use some solderless connectors and some uh, shrink wrap I try to always use the shrink wrap that has the goop inside it that glues them and makes the joint just a little mechanically a little bit stronger um, I checked my polarity um, but I'm not I don't know anything about electronics so um, there's a very good likelihood I could have burned mine up when I did this um, so make sure you do your own research and know what you're doing before you do something like this but anyways let me know if you have any questions